So how did you get into the industry? How did I get into the industry? I, th I think one of the first things that, you know, as a kid, uh, when I was uh, 16, I got a game called uh, Ultima 3. And, you know, this great RPG, had music, it had the full nine. And so I realized right then, okay, this is kind of what I want to do. I, which I think everybody gets that, this is really what I want to do. And then I uh, went to college, uh, realized, hey, I'm not as good at this as I'd hoped. And then heard about a job at uh, Origin Systems. That job was actually customer service. And so I, I started out as a, uh, a tech support representative for a huge sum of money, as you might imagine, <laughs> <laughs> per hour. And, uh, you know, the, the thing about uh, it was it really introduced me to the games. And so uh, at the time, they had a, a really neat system where you did QA and you did customer service. And then from there, um, you know, I just worked my way up into development, you know, over the years and, you know, work, weasel, however you want to uh, phrase it. Uh, but it was, it was a lot of fun, uh, you know, from the very beginning. And it just, it reignited, you know, my passion for games as, as I uh, took on a designer role. And then I just, you know, started playing games like Mad to do research, you know, even games I wouldn't normally play. Um, and then, you know, from, from then on, that's kind of been what I do. I do a lot of research into games and uh, work as hard as I can. What was the path from Origin on to ZeniMax Online? So the path from Origin to ZeniMax, um, in 1996 uh, at Origin, and I think that's the right year roughly, um, they s approached me with uh, an idea for a game that they were working on and said, hey, do you want to QA this game? And then I think internally it was called Multima. And uh, it eventually became Ultima Online. You know, that was the first foray I'd had other than MUDs into, you know, online games uh, of that caliber. And, you know, I was a huge MUD fan. So when I got the chance, I was like, okay, this sounds fantastic. Yes, I would really like to play this game uh, with uh, thousands of other people. You know, meet them, greet them, kill them, those type of things. And so uh, from Origin, though, I eventually became the lead designer on Ultima Online on, on the live side of things. Uh, you know, and I learned a lot on that project about how live works, how uh, it works to introduce systems that are both loved and uh, perhaps not so loved uh, by the community, but it teaches you a lot. And then I went from there uh, when I thought that, you know, I I'd kind of gotten to a point where I'd worked on the game for so long, I was ready for something else, and so we, I started at NCSoft, and we started working on a game called Tabula Ross at the time, um, and that went through many incarnations, um, you know, uh, various things, and uh, so from there we launched that. I worked a, a little bit on an internal project uh, that they gave me at NCSoft before, at the time, I decided to move on and uh, went to uh, ZeniMax Online. 